Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys that watch the channel will recognize this rifle. This is absolutely one of my favorite rifles. This is my CVA Cascade in 22250. So, I started filming a series on bullet drop and bullet trajectory. Tra 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 trajectory. <laughs> if I can stutter here for a second. And you guys requested that I do the 22250. So I'm going to show you some real world stuff. We're about to head out to the range of the bullet drop of the 22250 cartridge. So I sight in all my rifles in at 100 yards, which means dead on at 100 yards. I hold that crosshairs right on what I want it to hit at 100 yards, and it hits it every time. You guys that have seen this rifle in other videos know that it is insanely accurate. I have got literal same hole groups at 100 yards with this thing. I'm talking about five shots in the same hole that where it looks like one hole. This is real hard to say it, but this is probably my favorite rifle. It could change tomorrow, but hey, I absolutely love the 22 250 cartridge. This Cascade is just fantastic. On top, I got a real clear piece of Stierka glass. They went out of business, which is a bummer, but hey, it's a really nice scope. What I'm going to do in, in this video, I'm going to show you real world situations, demonstrate it. I'm going to fling a bow light at 100 yards, then we're going to bring it into 50 without touching the scope, squeeze the trigger off, see where that bow light hits at 50 yards. So, 22 to 50, hunt deer with it, hunt coyotes with it. Um, it's a very capable and supposedly a flat shooting cartridge. But me personally, I've never shot it past 100 yards, so I can't tell you for a fact. But we're fixing to do that here in this video. So I'm going to verify it, like I said, at 100, bring it in at 50 yards, see where it hits at 50. Is it higher? Is it lower? Then we're going to fling some at 200 yards, do a 200 yard group, probably fling three, four, five boo lights out there at 200 yards and see what the average bullet drop is. So, tons and tons of people are requesting this video hollering, oh, mine shoots flat out to 400 yards. I don't believe it, bucko. Um, I know it's flatter than a lot of other ones, uh, but it's still gonna drop between 100 and 200 yards, uh, promise you. But, I haven't done any calculations on it. I don't know how much yet, but we're fixing to find out. Let's go out to the range. First shot's going to be at 100 yards, and we'll verify our zero. I'm super interested to see where the bullet hits at 50 yards and then 200 yards. Check it out. Let's go hit the range. Almost forgot to tell you, I'm so excited about this video. This is the ammo that I'm using for this video. It's some Aguila 60 grain lead tip stuff. Why am I using this? Because I found a bunch of this, and I have a lot of it. Uh, show you one real quick just uh, what you'd expect a lead tip hunting boo lot but 22 to 50 you can get it lighter and super fast you can get it heavier a little bit slower some deer uh, white tail bullets if you have you uh, but let's hit the range now let's go check it out and see what happens all right just to show you guys what I'm looking at that middle berm is 100 yards and we'll come up closer to this 50 yards then we'll go way back there to the 200 yards and we'll show you guys the bullet trajectory and the bullet drops here but real quick just to show you what I'm looking at alright let's check the 100 yard zero here Still in the bullseye, let's bring it back and send one at 50. <coughs> Just the bottom of the bullseye there.
So, I don't know about you guys, but that was a whole lot of fun. So what did we see there? The 100 yard sight in at 50 yards. Yeah, just like a lot of other cartridges, it's a safe bet. You can still hold the same spot. So you have your rifle sighted in at 100 yards, coyote, whitetail pops up at 50. Hold that on, squeeze that trigger off, you'll be golden. But at 200 yards, what did we see there in the footage? On average, it's dropping about two to three inches. We had one flyer hit up higher in the bullseye. Either that was a flyer or that was just me with a bad trigger squeeze. But at 200 yards, there's some more room for error than at 50 and 100. But the average group there was hitting two to three inches low. So, Mr. Coyote pops up on the uh, tree line out there at 200 yards. I'm going to hold about two inches above where I want that blue light to hit. And I'm going to smoke that coyote every single time. But, hey, that was the drop out to 200. Let me do some math stuff here on my computer. And I'm going to show you the bullet drop all the way out to 1,000 yards. I have actually filmed this rifle already at 1,000 yards, believe it or not. Go check out that video after this one, but I've got hits on a steel, piece of steel about this big at 1,000 yards with this rifle, uh, and I absolutely had a blast doing it. But let me show you the, the bullet drop chart here real quick all the way out to 1,000 yards. All right, so here is some bullet drop data all the way out to a thousand yards. I actually couldn't find the BC for that Aguila stuff. They do not post it anywhere, but I grabbed a BC off of a loading that's very similar. 60 grain bullet, a chronograph speed of 3450 feet per second. And this is what it is spitting out for us on those 22250s. So zeroed in at a hundred. This is saying we should have a two and a half inch drop at 200 yards, which is not too far off from what we actually saw in reality. Two to three ish inch drop at 200. Then you go to 300, we're only dropping 10 inches. 400, just barely over two feet. That's pretty impressive. And then we're really slowing down. And you can see how it Kind of goes off a cliff there somewhat after 400 yards, goes beneath the sound barrier, goes subsonic between 600 and 700 yards. And you can see at a thousand, it's really dropping 551 inches. And you can see the dials on your scope there. So really with 22250, you can be doing just a holdover on your scope out to 400. 500 yards you're probably going to want to start dialing on your scope if you have a scope that does the dials but like i said i have filmed that 22 250 at a thousand yards at 700 very easy getting hits every time a thousand yards is a little bit harder that light projectile is bucked by the wind much much easier but you can see it's a zippy one it's a fast round but it loses its power real quick. But there you have it. There's our bullet drop. You guys can freeze this if you want to and save this somewhere. Obviously, if you have a different boo lot, uh, there are much better ones as far as ballistic coefficient. Uh, this one we used for this video was a lead nose 60 grainer, which isn't exactly the best <laughs> bullet for long range stuff, but hey. This is some live action. This was the one we used in the video, so that's what we put the data on. But there's your 22250 bullet drop chart. Pretty cool, right? Um, 22250, um, it'll do a thousand yards all day. We saw out at the range there in the real world footage there. 22250 with this ammo at 200 yards with a 100 yard sight in drops about two to three inches. But hey, um, it's a pretty flat shooter. Uh, it's not the flattest shooter, but it's a pretty flat one uh, in the grand scheme of things. But let me know what you think about the 22250. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed filming it for you guys. Uh, but comment down below 
What do you think about 22 250 and which one do you want to see next time? I'm trying to film as much of these as possible and I'm really enjoying going through it, learning myself, uh, and then um, seeing the bullet drop at different yardages. Uh, maybe I'm nerdy like that, but hey, I really like filming it and seeing the real world stuff and then seeing the numbers on paper too. But appreciate y'all watching. I could talk about this stuff all day. Remember, comment down below what you want to see next time. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you real soon. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos. 22 to 50. Who the who? Load it up and get all the zooms you can. Load it up and get all the zooms you can.